Whip. Nay, nay. Best brunch in the city. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. I have been given an opportunity to go to the CFL Greek. Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia. Got Emmy here. She's like, hey, Nico, you want to come to BC? I'm like, for what? She's like, oh, the Grey Cup. I'm like, sure. Why not? So today's day one. We're going to a media scrum right now around the thing. Is this 2018? <laughs> and later tonight, we're getting all dolled up and we're going to a gala. You have to wear suits. Put I'm those dogs away. No dogs. <laughs> no dogs in the frame. And if you would just join me in giving them a huge round of applause. 30 red cups is nothing short of a bargain. This is the People's League, the CFL. Can't be a proper Nico vlog without a fit check. I don't know what brand this suit is, but I got it from Marshalls. God bless Marshalls. Marshalls? Right. Shut up. Sponsor me. Banana Republic. I don't know, these are fake. Kids don't believe everything that you see on the internet. Okay, my fit check. Inside the scoop, inside the scoop, Aritzia, Amazon, winners. We got all of our media stuff and we got uh, a goodie bag. So we're gonna check to see what's in that later on. But for now, we hungry. We'll take a little walk around Vancouver to our muck venue. Cafe M Medina, best breakfast spot brunch in Vancouver. Local is taking him around for the day. I'll be the judge of this, but I, I trust her judgment. She never led me wrong. Uh, tell us where we are. We are at Cafe Medina in Vancouver, and I'm telling you, as a local, as a local, this is the best brunch breakfast spot in the city. The cappuccinos, remarkable. The food, even more remarkable. The atmosphere, the vibes, 10 out of 10. Carmi's gonna car me a little bit tonight. Worth it? Thousand percent. As well as going to the Grey Cup, I get to go to my first ever away NHL game. What? The Chicago Your first ever away? Yeah, I've never been to an away hockey game before. It's Bedard's first game game in Vancouver so ticket prices for this game are insane. Thanks Emmy! I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed though I'm not the biggest Vancouver Canucks fan so what am I doing instead? I'm going in a Leafs jersey. You shouldn't bring this guy anywhere. There's just gonna be like some random guy cheering at random points during the game and be like oh what the fuck's going on here? My Leafs are winning Dick. and they will win. That was, and it's not even over. Like, <laughs> it's just getting started. It's just getting started. Like, we got so much more to do this weekend. It's insane. Whip, nay, nay. So, I got a goodie bag when I went to get my media accreditation, and all that fun stuff. And we're gonna open it and see what's inside. First, bang, new gray cup hat. Very, very nice hat. Umbrella, because apparently it's gonna rain like every single day that I'm here socks, these little black pouches, and in them are these freaking, these Grey Cup coins. It's very cool. And a sick bag overall. I hope you guys enjoyed the shirtless content. Next time you guys are gonna have to pay for it. We have gotten ready for our gala for tonight. I am feeling fantastic. Um, I'm feeling bougie, honestly. Like, it's like all like blue lit and like tables and like really high class people there. Like us. And like us, yeah, of course. We have an after party after this. My knees will be broken on the dance floor. What's downstairs, guys? The after party. After party. Ready? Oh my god. I'm currently here waiting for Nico to throw his goddamn football. Man, thanks. 
I wear a suit for God's sake. Ready? No, Marty, do. Hey. to day two Canucks game tonight yes last night kicked our ass a little bit that's what happens when you leave us with a whole bottle of wine to ourselves yeah. two they gave us free freaking footballs yesterday I'll take it I can get used to this whole famous thing Kind of a jank ass setup right now, cause uh, it's raining. Uh, welcome to fucking BC, everybody. Okay, we're filming content for her right now in the fucking pissing rain. If you couldn't tell, not happy. If there is one thing to know about me, I fucking hate rain. Well, don't move here. We're just gonna go back to the hotel room. We're gonna pack our bags because tomorrow. It's gonna be way too busy to do any of that. Uh, get ready for the Canucks game. Get plastered. Oh, we're also, I, I forgot to mention this. We're kind of celebrating Emmy's birthday a little early. We have to celebrate it while I'm here because it's no fun any other way. Cheers. Much needed. We may be watching the Canucks game tonight, but there's only, there's only one real team that we care about here. Let's be so real. Bullshit. This is the greatest idea I've ever, I've ever had. Actually, second best idea I ever had was walking through Montreal with a Leafs jersey on. We are in Rogers Arena right now. Leafs are winning, 3-2. I'm watching it on like this one bar screen that I can right now. This guy hates the Oilers. How how much do you hate the Oilers? I mean, fuck man, the Oilers are the, are the worst. The Leafs are second, but the okay. Oilers are the worst. All right, you know what, at least we're not first. You guys won't make it out of the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, so. exactly, see? This guy gets it. Oh, just pass the love around, spread it around. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely stellar news. Leafs won. Even better news, we're at our seats. Seats, low key. These seats fuck. There will be a fan first barn review done inside Rogers Arena as well. With this being my first NHL game away from Scotiabank Arena. Canada, we stand on guard for the Let's get around it! So we didn't mention that the goal song at Rogers Arena is Don't You Forget About Me. Honestly, probably one of the top goal songs in the league. <laughs> so, Emmy is kind of famous. Yes, you are. So now we're gonna go meet her fans. A bunch of her fans are waiting outside of our section right now. All to get a nice little picture with influencer and girl boss extraordinaire, Emmy Curtis. Stop. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Literally a silly little oh. TikTok. It's a great cup day, baby. I just woke up, it's like, not even 8.30 yet, it's 7.30. Going to a Reporters Hall of Fame breakfast. We're off to BC Place so we can watch the 2024 CFL Grey Cup. We gotta be at BC Place today for like noon. This has been like the craziest fucking weekend of my life. Like it's going by like that. Hey! 
it's like there's so much going on everywhere. It's overstimulation central, and I am all for it. Well, where are you from, Pete? We're from Toronto. I'm guessing I already know the answer for who you want to win today. We do. We, we want do. the Argos. We do, baby. How are you feeling? We're feeling really good. We went to all the home games this season. Beautiful. The team has a great defense, good offense, and an amazing special team. <laughs> Still got some confidence despite the fact we don't have Kelly right now? Sure. Yeah? It's Put it there. It's Put it there. It's Every, game. Everybody that I've spoken to that's like, oh, we don't have Chad Kelly, and they're like, they have no confidence. Okay. Every Blue Bombers fan in this vicinity, I've just been saying that it's going to be a wash. Well, I mean, it's always good to get the opinion of the winning side. Nah. going to have a big day. That's it, baby. Go Argo! People for quite literally as far as the eye can see. We're just finishing up outside here, recording some content for Blondie. We're going to head inside. We're going to watch this game. Halftime, 10-9, Blue Bombers. My Argos are down, that's okay. There's a lot of football left to play. For now, we focus on halftime show. Just finished up inside BC Place. The absolute craziest game I've ever seen in my life. Five picks, two of them leading to tutties. Argos win, massive. And if you couldn't clearly tell, I was in the room during champagne showers. What the fuck? Like, what is, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Other than the smell of smoke and champagne in my hair, phenomenal. I never felt better. That concludes the end of this vlog. Couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity to be able to go. Uh, my voice is shot. I'm sick. But it was all worth it. I'm still speechless. It's been days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys so, so much. This is Fan First Network.